Welcome everyone to the Moldex 3D webinar series. My name is Alex Baker from the Moldex 3D North America office here in Farmington Hills, Michigan. Just a couple admin things before we get started here. Please keep your microphones muted throughout the entire session to keep the webinar moving along as smoothly as possible without interruption. Please type all questions that you have in the chat section of Teams and I'll help to answer all of those questions in the Q&A once we conclude today's webinar. And then finally, a survey is going to be sent out later this week to help us improve our webinar topics and quality of discussions in the future. You can fill out that survey to receive a copy of this webinar recording to share with colleagues or review at a later date. All right, today we're going to be talking about fixing surface mesh errors in Moldex 3D Studio. I'm going to start out by uh, identifying the surface mesh errors, the different types of errors that you can get, what they mean and where they are, uh, how you can uh, identify them on your surface mesh when, when you actually uh, go to uh, surface mesh your own geometries. And then we're gonna jump into some of these surface meshing tools. Uh, how do the tools work? What do they help us to fix? What types of errors can they help us fix? Those types of things. And I'm also gonna be getting into a live demonstration of some mesh fixing tools and and uh, how we can uh, fix a relatively simple geometry, but um, it showcases at least a few of the tools that we'll see on a regular basis. All right, so identifying the surface mesh errors in Moldex 3D, there's a bunch of them, uh, 11 in total. I'm gonna go through each of them individually. They are categorized in two, uh, in, in two kind of severities, I suppose. The red severity, if the number itself is in a red color, it means that you must fix it before moving on to the solid mesh. If it is a black indication, then it is a warning. So like the sharp angle, for example, is a warning because it's not always a problem and our mesher can still handle it, but it is something to still be looked at and um, something you want to definitely um, pay attention to as you move on throughout your solid meshing. All right, so like I mentioned, I'm just going to go down through each of the 11 errors one by one, just to kind of explain what exactly is meant by each of these terms. Free edges will happen under two situations. Either two mesh, edge are, two mesh edges are not connected with one another, or an element is missing from a group of elements, or an entire group of elements is missing. So you can see like down here at the bottom, these two edges are very close to one another, but not exactly touching. In this case right here, the element is just completely missing. Usually to fix this, we'll use a fill hole. We can move the nodes manually, or we can stitch two surface meshes together. 